gosh, we're on. We're live! Ah! Busy school week. We've got like 1,700 assignments due on Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday. Have exams this week. It's gonna be hype up in here. I don't know if y'all know this, but I literally live on the sixth floor, so I have to like go all the way down the elevator. Do you guys like my hair curled? This is my first time curling short hair. Anyways, I got Starbucks. I got a iced chai with white chocolate mocha. Hold it like this. It focuses right on your face. You're just like, what's up, guys? And, okay, ready? Oh, do I press a button? No, it's on. Hey, <laughs> guys. Hey, I'm going to Kauai, Hawaii. And um, Jana is going home. And so we won't see each other for a week. So today we're spending the whole day doing very weird tasks <laughs> that include going to Best Buy, Starbucks, the gym. I'm just an extra. He's before. Hot as balls. <laughs> you can't say that. I'm sorry, Mama. Automatic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, funny, let me see you one, two, three. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. All right, the real fun is beginning. <laughs> I'm all packed up now. I'm about to leave for the airport, get some coffee. <laughs> Okay guys, I am home. Hi guys. I'm struggling I just it. wanted to remind you all that we're in finals week. Guys, I love vlogging on campus. This is okay. just so fun. It makes me feel very awkward, because everyone knows. Everyone. I know you all know who I am. I'm just kidding. What do you think, Sid? This smells like boo-boo. Huh? <laughs> Liddy in this oh, video, y'all. I go to school here. <laughs> go shop, lobe shop right now. This is good. And we're back. <laughs> Ugh. I'm getting an ice cube and icing my face because apparently that helps you wake up. Hello. I have yet to say even good morning to the camera. I'm just getting good morning. Good morning. Just getting acquainted with her. Starting the day, getting ready for the gym as always. Woo! My bed is not made. I can't believe I'm putting deodorant on my camera. It's called personal hygiene. Let's make the bed look like it's made. Look at all the laundry underneath there. It's just repulsive. All the laundry needs to get underneath the bed. As you probably just saw the past three weeks on my little reel that I'm gonna make before this video starts. Because I quite literally have been trying to make a YouTube video for three effing weeks. It's been very requested for me to make a video all about Grand Canyon. And I have all these things happening. It's finals, like I'm just going crazy in here. And I've been trying to vlog, like something. And I've attempted to do this stupid vlog for like a long time. I just can't. Hey, it's Jenna Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. If you haven't seen my face before, it is probably because you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel or you haven't seen me on the For You page on TikTok. I would love for you to do that. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. It's free. It's fun. It's fresh. Do it. I've been saying that since I was like 15. Hello. The truth about GCU. No, this is, this is not the girl house. I'm sorry. Welcome to my experience at GCU. This is like a video that I've been meaning to post for a really long time. I am now a third year at Grand Canyon. And these are some things that I wish that I knew because like I would always watch the Discover GCU vlogs. I would always watch like my, the day of my life at GCU. Like just to get like a gauge of like what I was walking into my freshman year. And I definitely didn't get enough from those videos. So I just wanted to be that voice for you guys. I am sitting here ready to tell you about my experience at school. And so let's get started. First of all, this is a Christian college, okay? Like no doubt about it, but <laughs> I think that there is a opposite side of it. And I mean, the whole slogan at GC is private Christian affordable, like find your purpose. And like, it is actually your job to find your purpose because there are so many different avenues that you could go on. You can dive full in, flip with the Lord. Like you are like devoted your life with a lot of resources and places where you can go to do that. But there's also places where you can go to run away from the Lord here. And I wish I knew that coming in because I was like kind of blindsided. And the Holy Spirit does reside so heavily on this campus. But I walked in here, I was like, everything's gonna be fun, fresh and easy, like, eh, I'm so excited. I was kind of oblivious to like what it was actually going to be like to have to like constantly fight off temptation and constantly fix my eyes on the Lord. Freshman year, you're definitely like, you choose your, like the crowd chooses you, but you also choose your crowd. And that's crucial um, for who you're gonna be your freshman year is who you hang out with. That goes for any year, but freshman year especially, like as you're establishing yourself, in a new environment, the first people that you choose to hang out with are crucial. And a lot of people don't see it that way. And people just like pick like the most accessible, tangible people and like 
end up falling into some bad things because they're just so desperate for friends and desperate for security and desperate for safety and so they just kind of commit to all these different friendships that like are not beneficial to them when i first came into college i did not know what true friendship like really was and what friendship really looked like and what boundaries looked like and like what i was supposed to be as a friend to somebody else because obviously you have to be a friend to have a friend but i didn't know what it meant to be a friend because i've had so much friendship drama coming into college i kind of expected it to look like the instagram big friend groups and big outings and big events when i like realized like my first semester at college like i was like all into that but by my sophomore year when i came back to school in the fall I kind of found myself to be an introvert and I was like I'm not an introvert like there's no way like I love people and that was the year that I kind of discovered this piece of myself that is an extroverted introvert I desire quality time and intentional conversation with people and that the whole big friend group GCU culture scene was actually really draining to me it was really tolling on my mental health and I had to like kind of re utilize how I set my boundaries with people because there was this mask that came up and so many people fall into this here at GCU because of the culture and because of the pressure that is put on us to have these big friend groups and to go on these big events and big group outings and things like that. There's a pressure. And so I feel like by my sophomore year, like I realized, like I looked in the mirror and I was like wearing a mask. Cause a lot of these questions that I've been getting about GCU since I started going here was like, is it easy to find Christian community? Like, am I going to have friends? Like him craving that intimacy with people. Like I came craving that community and the Lord really taught me and showed me that he's the bestest friend that I could ever have. And I didn't learn that until literally my third year. And that is right now. That is definitely something that I wish I knew before walking in to my freshman year at GCU is that Jesus is the best friend that you will ever have. And the blessing of community and friendship and intentionality with the people that he has put in your pool in this season is just a bonus of the community you already have with the Holy Spirit. And then also, I wish I knew that I am not where I go to school. Like my identity is wasn't going to be found in JCU. Like as a homeschooler and as someone who never had that like singled out like place that I called my own and that I was ready to like feel like I belonged someplace. And what Jesus really showed me in this season was that like no 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 Jana like you're mine and that is the only identity that you need and you belong with me. So I really do believe that in any school you go to, even GCU, there is a false sense of community and a false sense of this culture that is cultivated that pressures you, doesn't welcome you, it pressures you to have a friend group, to have a set group of people that you are with at all times and that is just not the way real life works and that is okay and I wish I knew that before coming in. Something else I wish I knew before coming in was that not everyone's going to like me. Coming into college with a following, it was really difficult to get to know people because people, unfortunately, hold someone that they think they know to a higher standard. And they, people think they know me all the time. And people will think they know you too. Regardless of how many followers you have, people will think they know you and they don't. It's unfortunate, but it's true. I put my worth in a lot of other people's opinions when I first started college. I'm like literally a hypocrite. Lord, forgive me. But I was like trying to be this person that I saw on the internet. The person who was always with this big friend group. The person who was always out doing things. The person who was advocating for GCU. And I'm going to be famous on TikTok for going to GCU. And like I'm going to post GCU content. And it's just like the Lord really interrupted what I expected to be here at school. And I was like, no, no, no. Let me, let me, let me work on you. I was ready to like be the extroverted like TikTok girl. And I, that literally, like striving to be that literally made me want to like crawl into my shell forever and like just sleep for the rest of my life like i was so exhausted by the first semester of my sophomore year trying to please everybody in that way trying to be what everybody expected and it was just not worth it and yet the lord gave me a will to be to be who i really am to be my best self and that is myself in christ and it was just crazy to be like totally transformed in that way because I wanted to be that popular girl that everybody knew. Everyone, everyone needs to know my name. That's the culture that GCU pushes that you need to know everybody. Everybody needs to know you. Like you're in the big friend group. Like you're popular. Like clout. Ugh. No. As someone with clout and as someone who is known, not fully known, but kind of known by a lot of people, it is not worth your mental health. It is not worth your physical health to be known by everybody on this campus. Like you are totally covered by the Trinity, by the Holy Spirit and community with God. 
and God will surround you with the right people. God will cover you with his protection and lead you to the right family and to the right church and all these things. Not everyone's going to like me and I'm not for everybody and that is okay. That was a big self-discovery for me for sure. Something else that I wish I knew, you don't have to rush to find a church. At least for me, like I've had a lot of church trauma in my life and I was very scared and apprehensive to like find a new church. I was like, uh... Mm. It was really hard for me and I again had this mask on and I was like trying to be this person that everyone expected me to be And I was looking for all these churches that everybody was going to and I was just basically following Kind of where everybody else was going and it was a very God ordained Divine intervention when I found pure heart church where I go now. It wasn't on a Sunday morning with a big group of people it, No, no, no It was like a very random occurrence now I work for them and it's just the whole dream and the Lord knows and so When picking a church and when going to find the house of the Lord that you are called to serve in and worship in You have to do what the Lord calls you to do regardless of what everybody else is doing and that goes for a lot of things at GCU and there's gonna be a large crowd doing one thing and the Lord might call you to the opposite and that's a lot of the things that I've like gone through is the Lord has called me to the opposite of what everybody else is doing. It's been sometimes really lonely and that's okay. Like college can be lonely. Like you are allowed to feel lonely in college, you're allowed to be alone in college. I had a lot of opportunities to be alone in school, especially your freshman year. That's also something I wish I knew was to mark out that time alone with God, to mark out that time alone with my own self. Before you know it, you're going to be hearing all this noise and you're not going to know how to differentiate your voice, God's voice, the enemy's voice, other people's voices, and vice versa. It's all just going to be one big loud noise and it's going to be very overwhelming and stressful. And as you guys can see, I'm definitely talking from personal experience. So if you don't want to take my advice, fine, but I definitely went through that. Um, as far as like relationships go and boys go and dating goes here at school, at least in the Christian culture here, it's very taboo. Like, I feel like no one talks about it and no one really publicizes like the dating culture here other than like the ring by spring thing, which is definitely a thing. I thought coming into freshman year, I was gonna walk out of freshman year with a boyfriend. And I think now that I'm in junior year, still single <laughs> and loving it. I think that going against the culture in that way as well has been something that I'm called to. You know, like just commitment issues. I'm still working through that. Sorry, God. You know what? Work on me still. I use the name Amen. A relationship is something that I do desire, and I do desire a husband, and I've always desired that. But that is not why I'm paying thousands of dollars to be at school. I'm not paying for a friend group. I'm not paying to fit in with the culture. I'm not paying to be popular. I'm not paying for a relationship. I am paying to get a degree. And oh, girl, you know I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. Period. I never thought I would. Surprising myself every day in here. I'm literally a theology student, hello. Crazy times. That is definitely something that I wish I knew. Like, you don't need a relationship in college. You don't even need to find your mate in college. You could graduate single and that would be okay. I don't want anyone to like make the mis same mistakes that I did. And that's definitely like, not a reason that I came here, but like that was like an expectation, like a perk. Like there's cute boys, eh? Like, and obviously like we desire that. Lord, Lord, just fix my eyes on you, Jesus, please. Because shoot, there are cute boys on campus. <laughs> Surprise! So, just gotta renew your mind. The Lord gave me this word my freshman year of college, and he was like, Jenna, sometimes God just likes to joke. He's like, you are the whole cake, sweetie. You are the entire cake. I am putting some ingredients up in there. I am mixing you up, and I'm about to put you in the oven. Here's the thing. The Lord is making the cake. He is putting some special ingredients in there. I am the cake. Hi. And he's making me up and he's taking his time. The process is on God's timing in his hands. Like he's making the cake. He's gonna put it in the oven. He's gonna take it out and hear me out. The relationship, my spouse is the frosting. My spouse is gonna compliment me. He's gonna make me better. He's gonna make me look better, be better, whatever. He's gonna be the icing on the cake, a cherry, a sprinkle. That's my husband. He's going to contrast me very well. But I am the whole cake baked made up, set in a pan, ready to eat, without the frosting. I am the cake. I stand on my own two feet on the firm foundation of Christ. Come on, somebody. I literally can't stand this whole looking for my Boaz. First of all, have you ever read that story? Like, read it, please. Like, go read the story of Ruth and Boaz because shoot, context, please context. Like, no, like I'm complete without a boyfriend. I'm complete without a man. I'm complete in Christ, but Mm, I'll be gonna compliment me so good. You know what I'm saying? But like not now Apparently God's timing. Fix my eyes on you Lord. Amen. That's something I wish I knew like relationship 
could be not your thing in college could be have your hands open to the Lord and what he desires for your life because I was like I'm in control I'm holding the reins like this experience is my experience and it's college and I can do that eh. like no shut up like your life is God's Jana frick that's one thing I wish I knew about GCU. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I was like, I'm literally doing nothing on a Friday night in my sweats in my bedroom. Might as well film a YouTube video and party it up with the bays on here. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm going to be making more GCU videos, more Jesus videos, more day in my life, fashion, workout, all these things here on my YouTube channel and on my TikTok and Instagram page. Go give me a follow on there. I will be leaving all my links in the description below. And I would love to chat with you guys and pray over you guys and lift y'all up to the Lord. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to do life together and we're better together. So I want to do that with you guys. I love you all so much this much and so does jesus and i will see you guys so soon bye